Good morning everyone and welcome to Copperline Rattler Ranch. I'm Julia. Dawn is down making some repairs on the gate. We had an issue with the gate not closing appropriately and it resulted in a little visitor uh, stopping by for a little while. We'll show you some video of that and how we handled that. Well, maybe not how we handled it. We didn't do it so well. Yesterday our gate uh, motor malfunctioned a little bit and left the gate ajar and one of our neighbor's calves got in. So we had to call him to come retrieve his calf and now we've got to do some renovation on this gate. It's just one of the things that happens out here in the middle of nowhere. Course number 19 is complete and we are going to be doing several things. We've got to put in the next step. We've got to put in a few more cleats for the internal walls support. And we've got to also add some more rebar to our walls. So there's quite a few things to do before we start course number 20.
So this is the rebar that we'll be using. Donna and I cut um, 10 20 foot length rebars into four foot sections. And that should be more than enough to do this course with our rebar. It's time to put more rebar in. We've gone up four courses from the last time. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark some areas that I know are safe to put rebar so that it doesn't hit existing rebar, but rather helps support it by going alongside it. So as you can see, the red is where I did the last set of rebar. The black, which is also four foot down, I just didn't mark it, is where the one previous to that will go. So I don't wanna come down here with this time. I'd rather come down here because I know that that four feet is not gonna interfere with this. So I will go up and mark, since it's so high up, mark my bags where I want to put a rebar. I also don't wanna make sure I don't hit the steps. Um, every corner will get a rebar, and then every so often along the walls will get rebar where it's appropriate. There are a couple places that I can't put rebar because the area is too tight. The space between the pedestrian door and the window right next to it, because of the lentils, I can't put a rebar in there. There's just not enough space to put one down. But the lentils with their cleats are going to help support that wall. So today, since it's not quite super windy yet, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to do some more sifting of soil so that we can be ready to go with bagging tomorrow. We have finished everything we needed to do on course number 19. The step is in, the barbed wire is done, the cleats for the walls supports, the internal wall supports are done. So we're ready to just go forward with course number 20. Probably gonna do um, two more courses after that. I know we talked about doing three after that, but we're going to just probably do two and then get ready to go ahead and start our roof. That will be an exciting moment. Hopefully we can get it done before the serious monsoons start. Let's take you up close and personal so you can see what it looks like on that thing. From a distance, it just looks kind of benign, but over here, not terribly exciting, but we'll take a look and see. 
as we're sifting, I do wet the soil so that we don't have to do too much when we're up high with the bucket up high and everybody up really high on the scaffold. It helps us uh, proceed a little bit more quickly with our bagging. Shake it up and get a little bit more of the dirt out of there. 